In today's video, we're going to look at modeling our data with the best fit exponential distribution. So if you recall, we came up with this equation for the exponential distribution. It's the equation of a straight line with a slope of b and an intercept of 0. So the first step we want to do is we want to get our data on this plot. We're going to plot our random variables versus the natural log of 1 over 1 minus the cumulative probability value. So if we go over here, we already have our random variables x, so now we just need to uh, create our, our x-axis values right here using the cumulative probability values. So that's simply just going to be the natural log of 1 divided by 1 minus the cumulative value okay if we plot that on this graph we end up with this result and then we fit a straight line through the data right here uh, because of this equation and we forced our intercept to go through 0 so we have uh, the equation of this this line right here so our b value is 7039.6 and our r squared value is uh, very low it's a poor fit but that's how you do this process so now we're just going to um, use this equation of our straight line that we fit our data to using linear regression and determine our p10 p50 and p90 so in, to get the slope value here, we can use a we can either use this value up here or we can calculate it. I like to calculate it just to make sure that this result agrees with the calculated result. It's just uh, one of those double checks I like to do. So you can use the Linus function to to get that value. Essentially, what it's going to take is it's going to take our known y's and known x's. In this case, our y's are going to be our random variables and our x's are going to be this right here so we go ahead and pick those and then it's going to ask for two more arguments it's going to say okay do you want your constant to go through zero or not if you want it to force your your intercept through zero which I'm calling our, our constant here you just assign it a value of false and then it can return other statistics um, I just want the slope and the intercept value so I'm gonna put false if I do that it returns our slope right here in our intercept you can see it's zero it's forced through zero so this inner this slope right here agrees with what we got here so we're good to go we know we we uh, did our analysis right so now we can calculate our p10 p50 and p90 using this equation right here so I wrote a VBA function for that it's just a one-liner it's called exponential inverse and it should just take our b value and our cumulative probability so our b values are slope right here and then our cum is given right there so for p10 we assign it the 90 percent probability and i want to freeze the slope so we go back freeze that carry it down and so that's our p10 p50 and p90 using the exponential distribution best fit line through our data so that's how you do that in the next video we're going to look at the Weeble distribution because this is applied in other applications as well especially when it comes to fatigue analysis and mechanical engineering but we can definitely apply it uh, in this case to see how that's done so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time adios